another uh, sync science video with the CD turbine. Um, as you can see, the turbine is set up in the sink. So I recall it sync science video. And I turn it on and it goes around. Okay. If you've seen any of my videos, you know something about the CD turbine. The Tesla CD turbine. This time around, I want to revisit the sync science number seven which had the uh, rotating ball which rotated backwards against the magnetic field of the turbine. So I set up this graph paper here. You can see the turbine direction set up. And uh, I'm going to turn on the turbine. I've got a, um, a ball here that's uh, encased in styrofoam and has a, an arrow pointer uh, on it as well to help out with our direction of the magnet. So first I'll uh, turn on the turbine here. And, whoops. Yeah, see, high uh, speeds, can't keep it on, no way. Not at this height. Now, if I was to start it off slower, you'll see what the effect is here better. Back. So obviously we can't, uh, it's difficult to keep the, uh, keep the ball on the paper while it's, there it's going with the turbine rotation there now. However, Okay, it appears that we can't get it to go backwards, but all I have to do is put in a little spacer plate here. Grab it up again. And we see we have a different effect. So the height above the turbine definitely affects the way the uh, magnetic ball moves. effect that I was trying to get right now. The ball goes around, the arrow is pointing toward the middle. Here it goes. The, ball, the arrow is pointing toward the middle. The ball does not actually rotate other than making one full rotation as it goes around one full revolution. The ball itself is not rotating the way I had expected before and the way I presumed that the friction against the bottom was causing the ball to go around uh, but it isn't. The ball goes around even though even though it doesn't uh, rotate. Okay, another example of the ball in a bowl, TV turbine, turn it on, put the ball in the bowl, and as I lower it down, we see it. we have the powder clockwise, that is clockwise rotation of the ball, but powder to the rotation of the TV turbine. And as I put it right down on the turbine, even though the magnets are extracting quite a bit, the ball is rotating counter to the rotation of the turbine. It's even picking up an RPM.
maintain it back to an inch above the turbine. And I can feel that the effect is off now, uh, about an inch and a quarter off the top of the turbine. As I lower it, the ball vibrates, and then suddenly goes in the clockwise rotation. And as I lower it down, it gets very strong. And it's interesting, the harder... Now it's going with the turbine, doesn't like that very much, so... Oh, now it does. Okay, it's going with the direction of the turbine. I've never seen this happen before. Hopefully the camera won't run out here. Okay, well that's interesting. I'll see if I can raise it a little. It's heavily attractive. Yes, there it goes. Look at that thing go. Oh, I've lost the sweet zone. I'll lower it down a little bit. Oh, watch the teeth. Sometimes we rock and roll. Sometimes we stay at home and it's just fine. This heart's on fire, this heart's on fire, this heart's on fire, this heart's on fire.